on this episode of Instant Replay Live, Nick tells us all why Twilight is his favorite book series. Oh, well, the thing about that, and this is weird, I know, because most people are going to think, like, what, are you kidding me? Like, that's a joke, right? Like, people are not going to buy in that I would buy the Twilight books and think that they're really, like, the best romance story ever told. But the thing is, when I was a little girl, I met an undead um, creature. It wasn't a vampire that sparkled. It was actually a glitter zombie. And uh, it touched my life and touched me in naughty places. <laughs> that I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm so glad you took it in that direction. Nice. <laughs> Hold on, sir. Instead of instead of like balking at you and arguing <laughs> that that wasn't my, I just decided to, to roll with it. Yeah. Oh, rat bag. Um. Ah, ha, ha. So we're gonna kill the war chief on what? Shadow of Mordor. What? The war chief has a family, probably. <laughs> um. I, I see a lot of female I mean, arcs. He he has not only a family; he has a love for his bodyguards. Oh. Which is making that. We should murder all his bodyguards first. Oh, that'll make him powerful. Yeah, but it's more fun that way. Okay. All right. <laughs> You've challenged me, so I'll do it. Um, I was going to say that it makes it a better story than Twilight. Better love story than Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> because he loves his bodyguards. Um, yeah. No, we're going we're gonna to go get him. And I guess now Joe has issued a challenge, so I got to do it. Mm, ooh, that ooh. Juicy. Rat bag. Nice. So many of his own people want to kill him. <laughs> Shouldn't he just defect? Why is he trying to raise up in ranks when he, he seems to know? Oh, interesting. Defeat two berserker trainees. Yeah, so the mechanic with the war chiefs, they're like the big the big captains of the, the thing. Um, anytime you, you want to fight one, you have to draw them out by angering them somehow. And each one gets angry for different reasons. So I guess oh. this one, I don't know if they explained it, but okay. defeat his like top warrior or something. To, Hold to right get trigger and tap Y. Um, I am, but I'm not close enough, maybe? He'll come, he'll come. Okay. You only, you only press the Y once. You shouldn't have to. And All he'll right. come to the exact spot uh, you click that. Just, yeah. He takes his time. Yeah. Okay, come on. This Everybody's is a watching. Stealth game. Stealth games are slow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Got my bonus objective. Hey, why don't you come over here too? <laughs> You're just gonna do all these guys. <laughs> I mean, like, why wouldn't I, right? It's, like if they're it's that pretty good dumb. Method. I've definitely done it before. Like yeah. eh, I don't really feel like there's too many guys up here. Let's just thin the number out a little bit. Hey, come on over. Yeah. Come you. and knock on our door. Talking to you. Whoop. Oh, I look. This guy's gonna see you though. Yeah. No all one right. would ever expect. Is he? Can I not like grab him? Okay. Oh uh, yeah, shank him. <laughs> no, I want to throw him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like that I stabbed him in the neck, but he didn't die because I got interrupted mid-action. Ooh. So. That is a dramatic entry, Mog. Every time a war chief comes in, this is one of my favorite aspects of this game. The the all, the music becomes the chant of their name. Nice. So it's chanting Mog, Mog. Nice. But all their names are procedurally generated. So like you might have like As Douche. <laughs> and it'll it'll shout douche. as douche, douche as douche yeah yeah or just douche there's there I've seen one named douche before really yeah and it's just so, it, I don't I know was just, making a joke uh, I'm not yeah no douche is a real uh, new enemy berserkers count during normal attacks stun them before attacking good thing I did that anyways uh, yeah. yes I'm, I'm gonna be focused and probably a little quiet so yeah uh, I'll I'll do what I can to keep on talking. Um, Which orcs? ones are his bodyguards? Or have I already killed them? Was that the Berserkers? Um, I, the bodyguards are actually only captains. So, like, he doesn't... I don't think he has any of them with him. Oh, that's a major disappointment. They, they certainly will, um, but this guy does not, it looks like. Oh, shit. Keep talking, Joe. Because <laughs> I, I can't. I gotta watch the game. So, so Nick, what's your, uh, what's your favorite uh, place to visit on the holiday? Um, the Twilight, um, where, the, where the filming location was. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I, uh, man. I, don't, I, I, I think it was filmed in Washington, right? Because that's where it's all, like, misty and, and vampires don't die because there's... Uh, it's called Forks, overcast. Oregon. Oh, was it Oregon? No, that's where the book takes place, though. Oh, okay, I don't know. Maybe show, whatever. I, I don't know these things. Whatever it is. I mean, How do it's you the, know that? All right, look. All right, I'm just gonna say those books—they—they they changed my life. All right, 
<laughs> now you're gonna do it. Uh, no, no. Uh, I, d I did hear some pretty amazing things. Have you, did you hear about the uh, the nature of the birth of the the main two characters' child? Um, uh, that it's like the werewolf thing. Uh, the werewolf. I don't know. It, but it's like egg sac is like you know, super hard flesh. Ew. Yeah. So like so like. Why does um, it have an egg sac? I don't. I don't. I don't know. No, but apparently Edward had to chew the baby out of like. Yes, the... I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that, that always stuck with me. <laughs> Way to go, Stephanie Meyer. You yeah, make right? you make your births pretty weird and neat. Neat. I mean that that alone is reason to read the book. I I don't know that neat is the term I would use for that. <laughs> neat. Oh, that was neat. <laughs> neat. Fire. I fire set sword. fire to the sword. Watched Watch it, it burn <laughs> as I cut Ranger's face. Uh, do the thing. Oh man, these battles are super intense, though. I'm just it like, is. I, I want, I just really want to watch right now, and it's it's killing me. You can't. <laughs> you yeah. have a job. <laughs> I guess I can move to the default of just like, come on, Nick. Uh, yeah. Use your use your use your uh, your I combo mean, moves. I have been using them though. Uh, I'm sure I'll find ways to insult you. Just give me a second. Oh, nice. Ooh, that was actually wow. really that cool. That was a sweet animation. <laughs> Damn it, Nick. Suck a little bit harder, please. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to find insult slow. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, let's do this. Oh, snap. Oh. So good. Oh. In slow motion with the fire oh. trailing. That is pretty sweet. Man. All right. All right. You gotta. You should. You should. You should combo finish this. This war chief. Oh, great! I Way got to more. Not use it on that guy. If you don't, I'm gonna be like thoroughly upset. I'm oh this. no, this is even Whoa. better. Whoa! Now I will see his face. What will you do? I don't. I don't know what's happening. What? Was that like my chance to counter his chance to counter? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice job, Nick. I, I know I was mean there for a little bit, but uh, you really pulled through. Uh, and I didn't have to kill all those guys. I could have just focused my attention on him, but it feels more <laughs> dramatically appropriate to does. kill a bunch of minions first. Absolutely. Like I, but like that just goes to show how much like TV and movies have affected my. Storytelling, story, yeah. yeah. Like I felt like I had to, even though I didn't have to. I like, clearly could have gone after him. How, how like, how would a fight with Darth Vader have looked if, like, he kills Darth Vader and then he kills a bunch of stormtroopers afterwards? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better just clean up these guys. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, it totally. It, it has to happen in a certain way, and it's it's weird that story feels forced like that. Although you know, so oh, let, me, let me see. Uh, it's neat. One of the things that I really like about Game of Thrones is how unpoetic it is. Yeah, and it's really messed with my sense of how stories are told. Yeah, um, and in a good way. Like yeah. it's a good thing that that has happened. Yeah. Sure, uh, but I, and I, I mean, like, I wonder, you know, uh, I don't know. I feel like we were going to see more stories that Whoa. definitely take that formula, of uh, you know, nothing safe and things don't have to be poetic because that's really what it comes down to. Would you say nothing really mattress? No. Um, <laughs> Our, our storytelling is poetic by nature because that's how we that's how we become like endeared to it. Like mm -hmm. save the big bad guy for last because he needs to go down last. That's the poetic way, the romantic way we look at it. Um, so what is it that endears us to George R. R. Martin's like form of storytelling? It's because it's I guess for lack of a better word raw, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's it's and wriggling and wriggling. And <laughs> we like it raw mm -hmm. and wriggling. Um, and man. Uh, Epic rap battles of history. We need Tolkien versus George R. R. Martin. So, Whoa! Uh, like, yes. I've been waiting for this. I keep posting it on their damn comments. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I not jump over this nonsense? I guess that's the end of the map. That wouldn't make sense. That would be such I a went, great. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Maybe have like C.S. Lewis jump in there to help Tolkien out. Oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> God, why don't they do that? They need to do that. I I'm, I feel like it's got to happen eventually. Like it, I, I mean, it's it's got to happen. It's it, they can't not happen. <laughs> Uh, why we had like Master Chief versus King Leonidas, I'll never know. But we need. Uh... Yeah, that one was weird. Well, Spartan, Spartan, obviously. Oh, they... okay. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even. Throwing daggers. I don't know if I want that. Oh, brutalize is sweet. Terrifying self kill. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, that's probably Pinned gonna be the one. Place is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Gonna go with brutalize. That you should go brutalize an enemy before we end this. Okay. All right. 
Um, do I have some? I guess I might as well buy the the one on that tier. So the the great thing about brutalize is that it's like it's meant to like terrify a group of orcs. Okay. So like you find you, you sneak up on a whole group and you just brutalize one of them in front of them. Well, or how these about two I just do, do these yeah. two? Yeah. For sake of time. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Um, whoops. Oh, well, here's a whole group. <laughs> How do I... Yeah, why? Oh, my God. That's so, I can't <laughs> nice. see it. Nice. I couldn't see well, it. Well, next time on Instant Replay Live, we'll watch an actual brutalization. <laughs> I'm sorry. Instead of zooming in on the ground. I'm, I didn't zoom. <laughs> Damn you, Nick. The camera I, fucked up. You know what? I thought it's you were doing good fault. at this game because of that, that sweet war chief fight, but you've lost all my respect again. You're going to have to earn it throughout the rest of this series. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.